All right. Well, let's do a bit more of this this game here. Uh, I set the clock back just so then thanks. Wait, Turkey Day. I was about to say Thanksgiving is not missed. Uh, anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Um, I've never been in that mood. Can't say I have. Oh, I could have done it anyway without changing the clock, but this is probably easier. This is interesting music. We have COVID again? Oh, no. Meanwhile, here I am. Not had it once. Oh, come on, man. Really? Free vacation? <laughs> I guess if you're having a good time, you can count as a vacation. What am I gonna do with these flowers? Like, I just... They're just not appearing. Yep. I'll find out what this is about in a minute. I have tried everything. <laughs> this won't appear. Alright, I'm gonna get dressed. You had gorgeous burger and fries and couldn't taste it. Ah, that sucks. I mean, could you still appreciate it without taste? I should go full tourist here, like, oh. I know nothing of this, so I'm going to take photos. have a Thanksgiving equivalent. Uh, not really. If we're talking about the sentiments of, like, being thankful and whatnot, not really. But, you know, the last public holiday I had was, was for a horse race from the Victorian era, so that was, that was something. <laughs> Food-wise, mm, nah. I mean, the big food holiday is Christmas. And then there's Australia Day, but that's kind of like more akin to 4th of July. Nobody's actually thankful on Thanksgiving. Well, I just went with what I got told on TV. You eat and then you sit around and you talk about what you're thankful for. And then... Just always confused me. I was like, 
this holiday made up, and then I learnt about it in school. Oops. Yeah, Australia just has random public holidays. They're not really that significant. Don't really have much of a history as a country, really. I also did not know about the whole turkey pardoning thing until just recently. <laughs> Sounded very confusing until it was explained. It's like, oh, so the turkey didn't actually do anything, it's just like this tradition thing. Because usually when somebody gets pardoned, doesn't it mean like they did something bad? <laughs> One turkey gets spared, and then the rest get slaughtered. <laughs> you love turkey? I don't mind it, but given the choice, I will pick chicken every time. Just, my thing with turkey is even if you have the best, best cooked turkey, if you cook chicken to that exa exact same level of caliber, it'll it'll just be better. The thing that I don't like about turkey is like the breast meat. It you can mess it up; it can become dry. And even even when it's well done, it's still dry by comparison to chicken. I forgot to do more shooting stars last night. I was tired. I can appreciate the turkey, but man, the chicken is just less effort. To do the, the whole massive turkey thing properly, you just have to really plan in advance. make chicken it turns out too juicy to an unappetizing degree. Is, is there such a thing? I mean... Or does it just... I'm trying to think like why wouldn't you want it like that? There's gotta be a downside. Is money. The song is reminding me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. Thank you. 
It's hard to explain. Maybe it would be good in marinating, but the juice and the flavor. Oh, then that would be why. So what, what's the go with this? Franklin. Are you one of the locals here? I'm Franklin, professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come and cook for everyone. See, Turkey Day is about celebrating the bounty of spring by cooking it. And no one knows how to cook a feast like turkeys, which is why they called in a professional gob gob. Well, I say that, but right now it's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious lamb chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local ingredients where possible. The three manila clams would be all I'd need to adapt my award-winning clam chowder recipe. But typically I have people to do my clam digging. Where am I going to find a digger on such short notice? Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. Okay. He's not actually going to ask. <laughs> Is there any chance at all that I could sweet you talk you into getting the vanilla clams I need? Maybe go stew on it a bit? Don't make me bad, gobble gob. Okay. Surprised he didn't ask the first time. <laughs> I like that. Armor shoes? Forgotten a lot of the recipes. something I'm, I'm missing. Uh-huh. Funny how in Stardew and this just... the museum curator just is never involved in public events. Forever stuck in their work, can't take a break. Hey! Oh, this is not fair. It's probably gone. Wow. No, it's over here. Come here. Where'd it go? <laughs> this fucking bridge. Oh, come on, man. So awkward to get. We'll get this at least. 
I'm pretty certain I haven't caught that dragonfly. This is annoying. But it's just straight up doing the same loop and I can't catch it in this loop. It's just... Come on. Come on. Where are you? My nice looking build is getting in the way. If I go over there, it's gonna come back. Oh! Oh, God. Should have swung for it. This is just a comedy of errors. I don't think that's even the one that I was after. The big one's gone. Why is it... Why is it here? Specifically in this hard to get place. Oh, you. I'm gonna wait. Gone again. I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it's this dragonfly. Well, I already have that, but I should get it anyway. Okay, well, I give up. It's gone. this convey adult <laughs> okay I don't think I've ever seen the convey belt <laughs> it's the 
dragonfly again. But I think it's not the one that I was after. Why are they along the river? Hold on, I saw one in the background. Ah! There it is. Took way too long. My jolly painting was real or not. The band the dragonfly is known for its black and yellow striped body, as well as for its piercing green eyes. And it is those very eyes that help make dragonflies master hunters, you see. Alas, when one looks at me, I can't help but feel it is sizing me up for a meal. Ah, the horrors, look away, friend. Probably fake. standing around with plates, but there's no food. Alright, to halves first. Is it real yet? Uh, I think it's also fake. But just to get the stock refresh. I just want the items, <laughs> or the benefit. to move, so. Oh, 
So, how am I going to customize these? I mean, that's probably the correct words, just... What looks restaurant-like, without downloading a new pattern. Well, maybe this. Yeah, we'll do these. And then alternate. I'm curious about what the conveyor belt can be customized to. What would you even do with this? <laughs> I guess that would depend if you can put items on it or not. items on it, you could do, like, a restaurant that has conveyor belts that kind of go around in a circle. need one more. Alright. 
I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with that. Let's do the sucky stuff. So, Manila Clams. Can't say I've ever had a chowder before. It's not exactly a common thing here. But I heard one where. Is there a smen bells milk mouth thing? No. Can't believe it broke after one. It's like hardwood and just iron, I think. Hey, lazy Lucy, how's it going? That and that. Okay. Good, how am I? I'm doing okay. Just kicking back after a day of work. Probably the first day I've been able to have somewhat of a normal evening. Just recently moved, so... Nice to not have to do anything. But play games. It's a bit warm outside though. I'm also checking out this turkey day thing for the first time. Come on, two more. Is this valuable? I'm not sure if I've gotten this one. <sighs> ah, well, there's no way I'm getting that. <laughs> I hate dragonflies. Well, 
it is difficult to aim it in this. Sometimes the analog stick doesn't want to do what I want it to do. But hey, Nick, how's it going? Had snow in the last couple of weeks, you walk up to five plus degrees and you're melting because of all the ovens you have on. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you're melting because it's five degrees. Send to tie with the move, and then tomorrow that's it. Ugh. Don't have to do anything further. The settling is going good. Like, my bedroom's the most set up room. It's actually a bedroom now. In here, it's like 50 50. There's still stuff everywhere. Do it myself with these are chef's hands. Without an assistant digger, I despair of getting my ingredients. Okay. These are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... <laughs> what is this? Oh, not real cooking, just like, presentational. Can't say I've ever had chowder before. Folks tend to underrate soup, but they should think twice. Some nice fresh milk clams can really satisfy. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present you with a turkey day rug. It's a turkey, not a donkey. I'll say this, for an amateur you've got a real eye for ingredients. Next on the menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch ingredients, but it didn't show. How'd you like to be my gopher? Sure. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey pie. Let's talk about what we'll need for, to make that pumpkin pie. An orange pumpkin, a yellow pumpkin. That's it. You don't have to, what you need, someone else might. Yeah, it's because of Thanksgiving. They just called it turkey day. So that it, it's different. not understandable. Okay. <laughs> Happy American holiday. Yeah.
How big is this thing? Oh, it's pretty massive. That's not a that's not a bad looking rock. I mean, I wouldn't say it's turkey related, but it. I thought it was gonna be just a giant turkey. Yeah, it's more of a fall carpet, I would say. It's themed around leaves. Okay, the main ingredients, orange and yellow. Nice, reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I got everything I need, sir. So. Let's get cooking. The creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with spices make for a quintessential pumpkin pie. Something I haven't had ever. Few chefs could have brought out the flavor quite so well, but the raw ingredients were all you. Okay. Now then, for our next dish we'll need to use lots of ingredients to make a hearty gratin. With this we'll procure a squid and a sea urchin. You don't know what pumpkin tastes like. Pumpkin... It's... It's one of those things that it could be a texture thing that you don't like. Um... And also depends how it's done. It can be mushy, it can be... <sighs> it's kind of like how zucchini is in... That's how I would describe it in terms of how soft it can get. Like, you can get zucchini that's pretty mushy, but you can also get zucchini that isn't so mushy. But it's not like it flavor-wise. That's how I would say texture-wise it is. Flavor-wise, yeah. I mean... It depends how it's done. I thought pumpkin pie was, uh... Wasn't... Was like a savory pie. But then, learning that it was a dessert, I was like, what? <laughs> it's just not a thing here. The pies we have generally are savory pies, so they're, they're meat. With the exception of, say, an apple pie. It's dessert. Yeah, it's dessert. It's supposed to be sweet. Which I can see how you could get a sweet flavor out of it. It's kind of like how Carrot gets a cake. I'm pretty sure it's sweet. The Ask an American. I just remembered it being not what I thought it was. You load it up with whipped cream. There you go. Yeah. I can I can understand it. I was just weirded out when I learned that it wasn't a savory pie. I was like, what do you mean a sweet a pie like that's meant to be a dessert that's got pumpkin in it? having a little bit of cake if it got that good buttercream icing. Yeah, icing, it's got to be some good icing. Whipped cream, I like in small doses. I think over the top. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Your deep throat whipped cream. Oh man. Do they sell it in a can? I can't. I'm indifferent about it. Yeah, I mean... I think when I saw Thanksgiving episodes of TV when I was a kid and didn't know what Thanksgiving actually was, the food that I think appealed to me the most when I heard about it was like the stuffing. This here, when you go to rotisserie chicken places, I mean, they're called charcoal chicken. It's just a whole chicken cooked over coals, but they usually put stuffing in it. And that stuff is good stuff, and I thought, ooh, they talk about all these fancy kinds of stuffing. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure. Oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you're cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Sometimes a delivery guy in a pizza hat is so much better than a knight in a shining armor, man. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep. Today is a good day. Oh, McDonald's doesn't do frappes, really? In in the UK? McDonald's Australia does it. The apple pie in Australia is very different. The apple pie is, um... How would you describe it? It's like... It's this re rectangular thing that's made out of pastry. It's like a pocket. A rectangular pocket of pastry. That's got the apple pie filling in the middle, and then they deep fry it and put ch sugar on top and cinnamon. But it's not like a circular thing. Oh, you can have bad apple pie. Like, I've had bad apple pie. It depends on what you have in it, but also just sometimes you can not do well with it. It sounds like the apple pie there too. Okay. Hmm. I just know there's, there's differences. I got the uh, urchin yet? Mm, not yet. This one might take a while. You don't like warm apple pie. So what, you'd rather have the frit? Yeah, I guess I haven't had it cold. I can imagine it'd be good. I did not... This might sound weird, but I did not try cold pizza until I was in my mid-twenties. I would always reheat the pizza, like, either in a toaster oven or microwave. I had never tried pizza cold, like, just grab it out of the fridge and have it. I'd never tried it until my mid-20s. It's alright, like... Ooh, nice. Good money. If you have a microwave, where would you? But some people prefer pizza cold. Like, I know people that have microwaves and toaster ovens, and they would rather just grab the slice out of the fridge and eat it cold. They don't want to heat it up again. Oh, 
Now, one thing I used to do was get a leftover slice of pizza, heat up in a skillet, and then crack an egg over it and make it breakfast pizza. It's good stuff. Egg, yeah. Um, egg is a uh, topping on pizzas here in Australia. Like, they'll do an egg drizzle over it. But, I mean, if you think about it, it's bread, meat, tomato, maybe some veggies like mushroom. And then you put egg on it. It's great. You reheated it once in the air fryer, it was actually really good. Oh, I imagine that would be good. That'd be like, making it a little more crispy. Egg drizzle. Well, I don't- it's- they just get egg, they whisk it up, and then they drizzle it over the pizza, so when it cooks, it cooks, so then you have egg on it. So, there's a pizza here called the Aussie. You can find it at most pizza places, and it's bacon, um, ham, onion, and egg. Pretty decent, I like it. But yeah, the egg cooks, right? That gets incorporated into the pizza experience. I mean, it's, it's, it's less of a stretch than banana on pizza. Sorry, Swedish people. But I can understand the logic of banana on pizza. As uh, plantains are like a thing from... which I've eaten. Like breakfast pizza. Well... Not really. The, the thing is, you eat... It's not considered a breakfast pizza, so what I'm talking about is... You just cook an egg with a slice of pizza that's left over. So then you're eating egg with a knife and fork and pizza. So you get a bite that's... Pizza and egg, and it's it's nice. Like, you know... It makes sense, because you would have a slice of toast with bread, right? And instead of a slice of toast... You have your slice of pizza that has other stuff with it. But the pizza place thing is just, yeah, they just put egg over it, and then when it cooks, the egg's cooked, so it's incorporated into the pizza. It's not a heavy amount, it's it's pretty light. So don't imagine, like, large chunks of egg. It's just, like, little bits of egg here and, here and there. Without a, a picture of one, it's kind of hard. Oh, there we go. Kind of hard to describe it. In fact, let me see if I can find a reliable picture. Hold on. Okay, th I mean, there's a few. There, uh, there are a few. I'm trying to find one that's like the simple one that I'm talking about. Give me a sec. Yeah, see, it's kind of hard to tell the ones that have the basic one I'm talking about. But then, the fancy pizza places... I guess this is, this is what I'm talking about in terms of breakfast. But there are pizza places that are doing it like this now. Um, the right picture. Yeah, that'll do. So, you know, what I'm talking about is imagine a slice and then, you know, that's the end result. Except the egg is completely separated, right? But I guess this is how pizza places are doing them now. But what I'm talking about is... Conceptually that, it's just the egg is dispersed... More. And it's in... Smaller doses, not like a whole damn egg like that. Yeah, 
that's that's good. Like it's good. Is the egg running? For what I do on the breakfast, yeah. On the pizza, uh I think you can ask for it to be running. <laughs> Just random ass egg. Well Do you wanna go down a rabbit hole? Look at Braz look at Brazilian pizza. Okay, like I won't do it too much, but Dude, Brazilian peach, that is fucking wild. Like, that, that is a rabbit hole that I went down. Um, so let's... You wanna talk about pizza crimes? My god. <laughs> Give me a sec, I, I wanna find... yeah. And there's just so many, I'm already looking at this and it's just incredible. Okay, hold on. I, I'm getting three examples. They're just gonna increase in insanity, okay? Alright. This is a little bit of a derailing of, of the stream, but it's fine. Wait. Hold on. Why is this being weird? I definitely saved it. I'm just being incompetent. Ignore me, chat. I blame Windows 11. Um, alright. Brazilian pizza number one. Pretty normal. Thoughts? Well, they do egg on pizza as well. Brazilian pizza number two. Brazilian pizza. <laughs> it's for real. You want to talk about a whole ass egg on it? How about a whole fucking chicken? Oh, there's, there's some strange ones. There's several things that are telltale signs of a Brazilian pizza. One of them is the garnish where they just throw maybe five olives on top of the pizza, whole olives. And the other one is they seem to do these pizza segments where the pizza will be divided. And, uh, you know, one will be savory themed, another one might be dessert themed. And so the idea is... You just have, you know, a bit of the savory, then you have a bit of the dessert, and maybe you have something from the other part of it later. You're down for the chicken, but at that point, just serve a whole chicken separately. Like, why the fuck does it have to be on the pizza? Have you ever been down for a whole roast chicken and pizza at the same time? Like, both. It's not gonna be like that com that meme commercial, where, you know, the family's arguing about whether to have chicken or pizza for dinner, and then the little girl goes, ¿Por qué no los dos? And, you know, they have both of them for dinner.
pizza and chicken just sounds like two meals a bit much. Yeah. I would agree. There are, however, certain things where, like, you can combine two meals that are pretty small in size and make one big meal out of it. Like, one thing I used to do when I was a, a teenager... So I would go to Subway, I'd get a vegetarian sub. So, you know, I'd put the veggies I want and the, uh, the condiment that I would want as well. And then I would walk over to KFC and get, um, some chicken strips, chicken tenders, and just put them in to the sub that I got from Subway. So it would be decent bread. And, uh, filling, and then, yeah, the chicken from KFC. It was good. So I just need a squid now. The one kind of pizza that I'm intrigued about is like the deep dish pizza. That's a style that I've I've seen a lot of, but it's just I don't know anywhere that does it here. I don't think it's something that's made it over just yet. Because effectively that's like a pie practically. Should probably catch that again, it's worth money. Oh, it's not the big one, never mind. Yeah, don't don't knock it until you try it. Dude, get a slice of pizza. Just Cook an egg, put it on top, eat it. It's not a difficult thing to try. Makes for a good breakfast. I wouldn't recommend putting a whole chicken on a slice of pizza. You know what's weird is that the logic kind of lines up. So, here's why. Typically, at least here, when you get chickens, you can get them cut into eight pieces. And a standard pizza here is also eight slices. So you could argue that, like, well... You cut the chicken into eight, you cut the pizza into eight. Everyone has a piece of chicken and a piece of pizza. <laughs> Just trying to justify... ...the whole chicken on top of the pizza.
Grazie, Bass. It's not the weirdest Australian food thing. I think the strangest thing that I've heard is just... I don't know what region it's from. But it's a thing. It's definitely not from where I am, but... So they get a bag of potato chips. Preferably one that is of the chicken flavor. You crush it, so, you know, make it so it's just potato bits on the inside instead of chips. Just crush it as much as you can. And then you put lemon juice in it, a bit of lemon juice. You shake the bag up and then you eat it with a, with a spoon or a fork. That one I can't vouch for. Can't say I've tried it, but it's a thing. I can understand how it would work. It's not sure if I would enjoy it. man. At this point, I feel like just saving a bunch of money and just putting out a bounty and saying, hey, give me give me this hybrid flower. I've spent a month trying to get these flowers done. And they're just refusing to grow. There we go. Alright. Our next dish will be gratin. We'll be working from my own recipe, featuring hearty ingredients. Squid and urchin. Nice, reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now yeah, then, I've got everything I need, so... Would have been amazing if the turkey's name was Gordon. Masterful, my gratin is filled with the heartiest of hearty ingredients. It'll be the talk of the town. You know, you're developing quite a savory reputation as an assistant. This is for your help. More flooring. I do not know how to pronounce that. <laughs> yeah, we'll need sea bass and oh, perfect. I already have them. I'll prove that I'm minyere. I shouldn't do it. Fish, fish dish. Featuring both of them is inarguably the proper dish for the occasion. This is the final course. Stick with me, and we'll feast like kings. Well, that worked out. 
<laughs> nice, reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! I mean, that actually looks pretty decent. I'm done it. We've used two splendid fish to create a minlada! We're worthy of a main course. I couldn't have worked my magic without the ingredients you found. We make a complimentary pairing. Gobble gob, we got through the entire four course menu I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. In honor of that, as well as nature's bounty all around us, I hope you'll accept this cornucopia. And I have another little present just for you. It's recipes. With these you can make, you can learn to make everything I prepare today. This will be on sale at the shop tomorrow, but you deserve an advanced copy for your help. Okay. The job is done now, so you have my blessing to go enjoy this turkey day to its fullest. With some help from you, I made four wonderful courses for our festival today. But as a professional chef, I should always be striving to break the mold. Not literally, molds are expensive. I wonder what would happen if we went off recipe with a few of the ingredients. It's all cold, but if you'd like to go above and beyond, bring me ingredients that you might work. To improve my recipes, well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. Interesting. What do you think would pique his interest? Oh. I mean, that's very typical. There's no bananas in this game. I should just get every single food ingredient I have from my house and see what happens. Like, what if? A different kind of pie. I'm just gonna bring out everything. Get inspired. Okay, let's see what happens. to bring flour, sugar, and all that stuff. Wait, really? He 
None of these ingredients. I'm surprised. Let me get the other stuff out as well. At least it's the easiest way to roll it out. to them. All the food looks amazing. Just look at it. It's making my eyes bald more than my biceps, it's him. The pumpkin guy was, was, pumpkin guy was made with local orange pumpkin. I bet that's why it smells so great. But what am I saying? You ought to know. You brought it. Okay. I shall treasure the memories of this day and its wonderful food for a long time. Okay, keep this hush hush. I just snacked on the teensiest bit of tomato bisque. I know it's turkey day and I should save my appetite, but I just couldn't wait. Don't even worry about it though. My tummy is totes ready to finish off all these dishes when I was. Hmm. Trust me when I say this clam chatter would be nothing without the vanilla clams. Wait, you're telling me you supplied the manila clams? Get out of town, no wonder it's so good. I'm gonna enjoy it twice as much now that I know you had a hand in it. The clam chowder was made of local manila clams, so that's why I bet it smells so great. But what am I saying? You ought to know you brought them. What a spread, I feel full just looking at it, bud. The gratin looks tasty. That was you who provided the sea urchin, right? Thanks so much. Can't wait to dig in. No one is providing me any new information. They're all just eating. So I gotta say though, with this in the middle of town, this looks even nicer. Like it, it fits. Who haven't I talked to? Second day is all about sharing great food with family and friends. And maybe a little bit of showing off in the kitchen, haha. <laughs> hmm. I remembered. I need some sea bass. Any chance you could pick up some for me? You can trade. I'll give you some of what I have. Wait. Is that the distinct distinctly delicious scent of some sea bass I smell? If so, that's just what I need for my turkey day recipe. Will you trade for an ingredient? Sure. Oh wait, I don't have it. I sold it. I guess this is how it works. Alright, I'll put all the other stuff away.
I always drop the first item to pick from in the menu. the sea bass. Boku. Daki Day just got a little bit more delicious. Thanks to you. Here, see if you can use this at all. Some yellow pumpkin. Oh, not what I want. Last but not least, I got something even more valuable than a secret ingredient. A cooking tip. Okay, so when you're making a dish like clam chowder, obviously you're going to put some vanilla clams in it. But if you want to go to the next level, the five star level, by adding a scallop. Oh, there you go. Let's go the extra level. Add a scallop. It's got to be beautifully prepared. Oh, I gotta get another one now. One dumb thing I'm having with just setting up stuff again. The PS5 has a ridiculously short power lead. Because I have I had to put stuff a little bit further away this time for the consoles. I went to plug it in and I'm like, what the hell? Why does this thing have such a short power lead? Extension cable or finding a similar lead that's longer. This thing is so massive though. It's alright, I'm not using it right now, I'm not playing anything off it. But that being said, if I do want to play some of the stuff that I wanted to get into, I'm gonna have to get that power lead. Thing. Oh, finding Nemo. And them and them and them and them and me.
Every time you see or hear the word anemone, your brain does the bit. <laughs> it is a bit of a tongue twister. The one that used to get me as a kid, there was um, a character in the Super Nintendo Zelda game. The name was Sahasrala, but I could never read it properly, so I was like, Saharala hala 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 Sahara hala ha. Sahara hala 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 hala. Imagine being a kid trying to read that name. Sahasrala, that's the name. I couldn't just call him John or Tim. Like Zelda, Link, pretty easy. Three syllables maximum. once you'd been making up a silly weird make-believe name for one of the characters in the book you were reading. How did that happen? Just started reading it that way and then I guess it just didn't course correct until later. It was only when you got asked a question about it and you realized you didn't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> so you just get into the descriptions. Now one thing I have heard is uh, when I was playing Skyward Sword. So I, I pronounced the sword as Fee. As Fee. Like I thought, oh, maybe Fiona, right? Like... I know people called Fiona that call themselves B. That's where I got it from. But there were a lot of people... Well, I make it sound like a lot, but more than I expected that were like, it's Fi. It's pronounced Fi. I'm like, okay. I just went with Fi because it just sounded more like a human name. The weird thing was when, when when I was when I was playing when I was playing the game, no one said a thing. Everyone was like on board with Fee, and then when I put the Zelda tier list video out, there were so many. I I'm exaggerating. There were people that were saying, "Hey, it's Fi, not Fee." I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I, I get it. It's, you know, you got Wi-Fi. Like, I wouldn't say Wi-Fi. But then, you know, in the context of being a name for someone, Fi made sense to me, because Fiona. You've always heard Hermione wrong. Never heard the name before reading Harry Potter. Wait, so even, there's even that within it? Leviosa versus Leviosa? I don't know. I know nothing of Harry Potter. Not something I got into. They took us to see... I forgot which movie. 
but one of the movies when I was in school, and I fell asleep during it. <laughs> Admittedly, I had done stuff the night before, but still, like, it just real. I guess because I was going into it, like, you know, not first movie, probably second or third movie. And, yeah, just missing context. Just a meme about pronouncing things wrong when magic is involved and get interesting. Oh, I bet. Well, I mean, the one thing I remember, just from school, when learning Japanese, there was a lesson where, you know, they were teaching us the word kudasai, and then the teacher was adamant, it's like, yes, just remember the da, don't say kusai, because that's, that's bad. Scallop. How's this possible? Yamate Kurosai. Oh boy. Finally. I should try to learn Japanese properly. I have the foundations from school, but also just watching anim anime. But I think before that, I would want to refine my Spanish. Like, I should. I, that's the one I really should do. Because I'm pretty capable. It's just... Because it's not something I really speak. And, yeah. Because once, when I lived at home, that's when it was very useful, but I think it'd be something nice to have. Not just as a skill, but just, I guess, as a connection to heritage. Hang on, your scallop could be just what I need to spice up my clam chowder recipe. Every professional chef. Worth a salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. Sorry, but I need you to give me your scallop. Trust me, it's for the greater good. You're holding the key to a positively delectable clam chowder. Help me unlock its flavor potential. Okay. You won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing clam chowder you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you give me everything I need, sir. Let's get cooking! You know what's interesting about names as well? For this, I recently- well, when I got the Animal Crossing cards, I was like... I was weirded out, because I saw these names in the cards, like, what are these names? And then I realized that, um, the villages have different names depending on what, what country you're from. So, it's not universal. It's so like, I got Scoot here, for example. Scoot is Scoot, but then also known as Helmet, Scooter, Chema, Guizo, 
Those are the five names that Scoot goes by, depending on where, what country you're from, I guess. With the addition of a hardy scallop, the vanilla climbs, it's no longer merely soup. Soup. It's super duper. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, some turkey day wheat, they call. Okay. Well, let's see if I have anything on my person. Dungeness crab is very interesting in the Ukrainian. Hang on, your Dungeness crab could just what I need to spice up my gratin recipe. Every professional chef worth their salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I'm sorry, but I need you to give me your Dungeness crab. Trust me, it's for the greater good. You're holding the key to a positively delectable gratin. Help me unlock its flavor potential. Okay. You won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing gratin you've had. Just you wait. Now it's all sparkly. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. Those thick crab legs really lent some depth to my standard gratin recipe. Working out the finished gratin gives me goosebumps, and I'm not even a goose. This is for your help. With another great dish. Compliments of the chef. A turkey day chair. Something tells me we could try even harder to find unique ingredients to give my recipes a special kick. If you find anything delicious, bring it to me. Okay, well, nothing I have right now. I love how it's just secret stuff and it's just getting it from local residents. Not that. Another thing that I think with turkey is something that's hard to get used to because of just I forget what the name of it is, but it has this thing in it that makes you sleepy. Or can make you sleepy. Not everyone's susceptible to it, but I know I am. Like, when I have turkey, I, man, it just makes me tired. Like, I just want to sleep. Um, I was thinking, should I? No. Oh, okay. That's what it is. My turkey day feast is gonna be way better than my usual Thursday feast, cause it's for turkey day. There's gonna be all kinds of good stuff in it too. It's gonna make my tummy so happy, hoppity. Anyway, I heard a rumor this recipe is extra extra good if you throw some... Throw in a few sea bass crumbles. Wanna try it, but well, my last sea bass just left. Hey, busy, could you please please get me a sea bass? If you do that for me, I'll give you... Oh, I'll trade you something tasty you can use in your own cooking. I like Stasha's house. Oh. Right. 
I gotta go find the actual tree as well. I think I saw it, I just didn't action it. Okay, sea bass, come on. I suppose I should catch stuff just in case. Oh, you know, I bet I think I know what it is. It's gotta be the red snapper. I've never had the guts to buy a fish and just do everything myself. Just seems like a massive process. But also I'm worried like if I mess it up then well, it's just not great. And I can just stick to reliable chicken. Well, to prepare fish, like, the, the descaling process, the making a fillet and making sure you get the meat off correctly and then the deboning. Can't follow a recipe. Well, not to cut a fish, like, that's a skill. Like, cutting a chicken's not complicated. And I just have this irrational fear that I might, like, leave a scale or a bone in. There are ways to make mistakes, but like that with everything. It it is, I think it's just you're more susceptible to come across that with fish. Chicken's concern is is mainly in the cooking process as opposed to the preparation process. Let's put it that way. Like, if I was to just get a fish that's already been scaled and, you know, it's just the fish fillet, yeah, no problem. Follow our recipe. It's just the part of getting a whole fish that hasn't been cut or anything and I have to do it myself. That's the part that I feel is daunting. Ah, oh, crap. There's that YouTuber binging with Babish. Um, not his name, but you know, that guy. He's released a book, and in it. It's cool because, uh, he has his recipes, but then he also lists how he himself messed up certain things. So then, you know, it doesn't seem as intimidating, and it's just like, well, even the author of the book messed up the recipe that's in the book. Which I think is a nice way to humanize things. Because sometimes recipes can seem like that. It's, you know, how to draw how to draw an owl. Step one, draw a circle. Step two, draw the rest of the owl. Like, <laughs> it's just, it feels like that sometimes.
So having that aspect of it. Okay, that can take us over. Uh, at least, you know, okay, well, this is something I need to look out for, but also it's... If it's something that takes a while to get good, then it's worth learning it. I was pretty lucky when I used to just cook my stuff, I would always run it by my mom. I'd make something and then I'd be like, hey, does does this look does this look cooked? Does this look good? And she'd tell me like what I did right or what I did wrong. Now my fill will get to be, it's yum 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 yourself. Yeah, take extra orange pumpkin. Thank you, thank you, you're so great. Hey, do you like secrets? Because I got secret food smarts. Do you want to hear one? Here goes. Okay, so you know how you can do all kinds of stuff to a gratin to make it taste. I already got it. The crab. Yeah, I already got it. You never really had anyone to run things by like that. That's that's why you lean on recipes. Yeah. I mean, I, I leaned on recipes as well. It's just more, I guess, for the basic thing, like cooking meat or, uh, yeah, just stuff like that. I was hoping I could contribute to- okay. I might not be on Franken's level, but I can't sit around the plaza all day. I've got to do something to help. I was out at the sea bass. I smell I could really use a pinch of sea bass. There you go. Thanks a million. This will be such a big help. Hmm, what should I give you in return? Oh, I do have some extra pumpkin. For a relief, I had something you'd use. At least, I hope you have use for this ingredient. Let me also give you a tip that'll really spice up your cooking, using a good help. Making a pumpkin pie, a good variety of pumpkin helps every bite interesting. Use a bunch of different colors. I did... I had... Uh, uh, didn't I bring out the other colors and the dude was like, oh, I'm not interested? Guess let's see what he says now. Ooh, your bad knife jaw is a very interesting ingredient. Hang on, your bad knife jaw could be just what I need to spice up this. Yep. All right. Maybe I had to get the tip first. Maybe. You won't regret this. I'm gonna make the most amazing minion. <laughs> I could learn how to read it, but I don't want to. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so... It's either Munir or Munuri. I don't know. I could learn. My original request sort of made a fine me me it's like me ni ear me ni ear me ni ear that might be it <laughs> me ni -er. it's almost like manure but yeah yeah our main dish is now even more luxurious there'll be lines around the block for this one this is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef. A half. Something tells me you could try even harder. For yeah, yeah, yeah.
Well, it says all the other pumpkins, and just, I guess just bring all the other pumpkins. Green, orange, I have white, and yellow. So this is every single pumpkin color now. and green pumpkin have a scent to them that screams yum. Hey, I bet those two shades of pumpkin could be used to make my pumpkin pie recipe even better. Every professional chef with their salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I need your white pumpkin and green pumpkin. Trust me, it's all for greater food. Holding the key to blah 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 blah. Okay. Maybe I was missing one of them. I don't know. Oh, your bounty of multicolored pumpkins has revamped the palette, if not the palette of my pumpkin. I don't think it uh, would have occurred to me to harvest so many colors of pumpkin for one pie. Hats off to you. Good gobble. All four of the courses we prepared today have surpassed my original recipes. You've done so much for me, I need to think hard about the best way to thank you. I got it. DIY is popular in this island, right? You create a lot of what you need. Then how about this? It's a recipe collection that teaches you how to make turkey day themed furniture and other things. Beside, the shop could carry it tomorrow, but they gave me an advanced copy. Now it's yours. So I won't need to buy it. I may be the genius at the stove, but furniture is beyond me. I think these plans belong with you instead. All the recipes will be added to your Nook Fern app, including the ones for items I've already given you. If you liked any of those, try making them yourself. You know, at first I only thought of you as an amateur ingredient gopher, but the ingredients you brought you led to all sorts of flavor breakthroughs. I learned a lot. I think I'm ready to upgrade you to professional ingredient gopher. But no, you've earned the break. Go take some time to really, truly enjoy the rest of Tokyo. Day. So what did I get for this? Okay. The table's nice. I bet you could probably customize it and get rid of things. Yeah. I mean, the thing about these is they're not... I wouldn't say, you know, they're perky. Yeah. They're fine. Like you could argue the just a seasonal thing. It's not like Easter, where it's just stuff that you probably won't use. Definitely use some of these.
Alright, what was that tree? Should have done it right away. Well, ah, damn it. I've tried, I really have. It's just refusing to go further. Just for one color. Just over there, that's the thing that's the most surprising is just so many purple ones here, you would think a green would have popped out. This event was nice. I'll still say the worst one is the Easter one. That's one that just doesn't stop. I remember it was frustrating because it happened very early on in life to this game, so. There was a thing where there were days where I wanted to get wood or something specific and I'd just get an egg instead. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go chop this tree. Oh wait, an egg popped out instead. Oh, there's a fish. Oh wait, an egg popped out instead. Oh, it's a balloon in the sky. Oh wait, it's an egg. Oh, man. This one doesn't overstay its welcome. getting rid of them and just continued moving them. But something's gotta give. At some point I gotta have success here. Thank you. 
Eventually, the whole yacht is just going to be flowers. The one I'm really not happy about is the uh, the roses. So many new roses appeared overnight, and not a single one of them was a hybrid that I want. gonna go buy one. I'm too lazy. Elephant one. Done. This is missing quite a few. I was really happy when I got the pink one, but there just hasn't been any movement since. <laughs> These are the closest, I just need the middle one to be purple.
biggest disappointment of all. Look at this. Four of them popped up. gonna get rid of them, I'm just gonna put them here. Okay. everything. May as well get these. Okay. Put away the other water and can of water because one thing I want to do is set up a flower stall, I guess. So I'm thinking of setting up uh, water and cans on display as well. That's why I got a spare. Still haven't found the uh, the money tree. Probably walked past it a couple times and just didn't notice it. Ah, there it is. I suppose I should look for the furniture of the day. Should be pretty quick. I'm 
I'm still waiting on a couple of things. Just random is random. <laughs> Imagine this happens and I just lead it to the uh the feast. Some ball. Oh, that was something else. Check down a hundred trees. Catch it. I kept pushing the book. Should be one more wasp. have options. <laughs> that was completely blind. I'm surprised I got that. Shaking every tree now. Oh no, wait. I think I know which one it might be. Okay, it's not. But I think I've gotten the ones here. 
There it is. Back to having money again. Okay. So I need to buy another floor seat and then I need to buy museum plinth. Oh, because I didn't walk up to the machine yesterday. I feel like I got both of these. Oh, I don't have it. Huh. Okay. I had it. Yeah, that one I have it. Pretty sure I don't have this. Okay, we want... I forgot what it's called. But when I see it, I'll know it. Is it? There it is. Light. Light to display stand. I'll get three of them. And then floor seat. Okay. So that'll finish the restaurant off tomorrow. And. Also, I can do the thing that I was going to do at the museum. Which is instead of the tables, I use those lighted displays and put a fossil on each, so it'll look good. These things, it'll look more official. I wish I could put that on top of it as well. But I think it's too big. Would be cool. Alright. Well, I've done Turkey Day. That's all I wanted to check out today and buy some stuff. So, we'll leave Animal Crossing for now. It's been a couple of hours anyway. The cool event. I like it more than the Easter thing. The Easter thing just stuck around too long. Alright, well... 
if you're watching this later on YouTube and have reached this point, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click one of those buttons like the one that has a thumbs up on it. It helps out a lot. Uh, thanks to those that do that. And if you also want to watch me play something else, just click a video that pops up on your screen. But yeah, thanks for watching, YouTube. We'll see you next time.